So out of many plays that we have today, the most uh, development potential in domestic psychology is called the uh, manta. So this is uh, the play. And this uh, uh, type uh, of uh, uh, subject game, uh, it uh, impacts imagination. Uh, because uh, in this uh, game, the child is inventing uh, some fabular and uh, also uh, this is a limitation of the framework, so the self-regulation is developing and uh, uh, also uh, this is a self-realization, so whatever part uh, we take, we develop that within a game, at the same time uh, the uh, level uh, of uh, this uh, uh, type of uh, subject or topical game uh, is uh, changing and uh, we conducted studies and the high level of game uh, is uh, typical only for 5% of the uh, preschool children and uh, in the late uh, preschool children this is at the low level uh, so uh, dressing and dressing the dolls uh, then some a car driving and creation of subjects and plots and taking on a role and implementation realization overall is very infrequent and the reasons are evident. In the first place, uh, the priority of educational classes and the educator and caregiver teacher uh, professionalism is uh, uh, defined uh, by the training, educational training sessions and uh, deficit and absence uh, of uh, different uh, uh, children's community of different ages. Uh, so this uh, game was transferred from all the generations and uh, that was some natural spontaneous activity. Now these age uh, communities are almost absent and uh, children uh, live in communities of the same age and there are no sources from uh, where they can get that game from and it's hard for adults uh, to perform that functions and also uh, marketization of uh, uh, childhood and uh, when there are uh, lots of uh, toys and games which are offered to children which are more accessible than games normal games and also expansion of uh, mass media, uh, videos and gadgets. It's much easier to uh, play with tablets uh, than with uh, real uh, toys. And uh, the reason of the deficit of the games our uh, children don't want to play, they don't know how. It's easier to uh, play with a tablet and uh, it's more interesting. Why do we need those subject of plot games for? And here there's a question, uh, should we train children how to play? And um, this is not an easy question. Even the psychologists have different opinions. Uh, some say uh, this is a natural activity which doesn't require any skills. He can do whatever he likes. But, uh, well, based on the studies, the development of a, a game uh, depends on upbringing, kindergarten and family. In some kindergartens, uh, children are playing well, and in some kindergartens, the level of playing and games is much lower. And the goal uh, of the teacher is uh, to engage the child into uh, the games and open up for him the culture of uh, playing. And the uh, educator, the teacher, ha needs to have an ambiguous position here. On one hand, uh, he uh, should uh, uh, be a participant uh, and uh, uh, he should not be uh, as uh, at evil level uh, with the child. He should be organized and should be maintaining pedagogical a task and uh, he needs uh, to show the example uh, of uh, the game. Uh, he should engage and motivate children and uh, he needs also to transfer the resources for the game. And it's very hard to find the balance here. Finding the balance between uh, the one and the other requires certain uh, skills and knowledge and certain competences. And about the competence uh, of uh, 
uh, teachers in terms of game we will be speaking about. And uh, for an adult person, for a teacher, being an organizer, being the leader uh, in the game, uh, that's the goal. And as a result, uh, uh, there is uh, didactization uh, of the game, as I call it. When the adult distributes the role, arranges the environment, tells uh, what to do, he puts him to that boat and uh, tells the children where to sail and what they need to do. So he's dictating, he's managing, he's taking on this uh, management and arrangement. Of course, this is not a real game. And in the real game, uh, the uh, child is expressing what's important for him. He's playing himself, even when he's uh, playing a profession, uh, performing a role of a profession. Spontaneous game of the children uh, very often doesn't look like in the books. Uh, there is no uh, consistent uh, on uh, uh, leveling of the fabula, of the subject and plot, and they can uh, finish not when the adults uh, want and need. And usually the teachers uh, don't um, like that, and he tells the children how to play. And here we uh, just uh, violate the logics of the game, and it's not uh, the game of the children. It doesn't belong to them. And uh, when uh, another a uh, deviation is uh, when the game uh, matters and the games themselves uh, are used for education. But the game as an active child's activity is not by me, is by no means a form of education. And when uh, the game as education and as a self-activity of uh, a child are very two different notions. And uh, uh, also uh, when um, a child uh, is initiating, so he chooses the subject, the plot, and he's uh, doing everything by himself. When a child is uh, trained uh, using uh, the uh, game means, so the goal is set by the adult, the actions are controlled by the adult, and the subject uh, is not the child here the, of the game. And uh, the child enjoys the activity, enjoys the game. He's playing not because uh, he uh, will uh, uh, get something positive. He loves the activity, the process. And the main uh, motivation uh, for educational approach is uh, to get a good score, which is a motivation of achievement. And in preschool, uh, this is a wrong motivation. And this is a different topic, uh, so uh, the child should not be focused on a comparison uh, against others. He should be enjoying the game. And it's not happening uh, in uh, uh, play uh, training, in playing training. And game, this uh, creative and spontaneous, and this is unpredictable activity. And uh, when this is a class, so there is a sample, there are uh, right answers. Uh, these are very significant differences uh, between uh, the game itself as a spontaneous activity and the game as a form of training and education. Uh, well, and uh, here uh, in Russia we usually uh, use the game as a means of education and the consequences are quite sad. Uh, children are deprived uh, of uh, self-activity or uh, they are not independent and when they don't have a gadget so they don't uh, know what to do and they are bored. I uh, also violation of communications, uh, depravity in the independence or activity. Uh, this is uh, the uh, result of uh, not using the game as an activity for children. And uh, we need to create the conditions uh, to support and uh, uh, develop and uh, also uh, motivate uh, the uh, educational students to use more games. What are the conditions which could foster? We need to accept the importance of the game, so we always emphasize it, uh, but uh, we value the teacher. 
and uh, b based on this course. And there we analyze the methods of training, teaching methods. And the teacher believes that his main goal is to conduct a sufficient number of classes. And the parents demand for classes as well from the kindergarten. And the game is something not serious. It's a, a kind of entertainment for them. This is a very wrong understanding. And uh, understanding the importance of uh, uh, playing uh, is a matter of principle for kindergarten, for teachers, and for parents as well. And uh, we have the new educational program, and uh, the uh, children's uh, institutions, they create the program uh, for uh, training themselves. And we allocate uh, not uh, less than uh, two hours per day for uh, playing, according to our studies. Uh, children invent uh, the place 20 minutes uh, after they have a free time. And they allow to do whatever. And then only half an hour is left for the game. And in the second part of the day, when they are taken by home, and the time for the game and an opportunity to choose the material, the topic, the partners, and uh, the method of a uh, game. And the main condition. I am moving on to the topic, uh, is uh, the uh, game competence of uh, the uh, teacher, of course. This is the uh, knowledge of hand skill, how to play, but this is not enough. And uh, I should not uh, be only enjoying the game myself. I need to transfer that to children. What do you need for that? Uh, here, these are my ideas. Of course, these are not uh, well, final ideas, and these are not the right ones, and we can further elaborate on that. Uh, what's important here, uh, can this uh, game competence uh, be uh, transferred in uh, universities? Of course, it's not happening in the class, uh, during the class, in the, uh, uh, tra during the training. And uh, you need some engagement in some practical trainings. And here I mentioned uh, certain methods of, of uh, how to shape the game competence of uh, preschool teachers. The first is imagination. A preschool teacher needs to be able uh, to resist uh, the pressure of the environment, uh, make up interesting uh, subjects, plots, and roles. And this uh, should be developed in uh, students and uh, and also in teachers and future teachers. And uh, here you can make up uh, fairy tales, uh, cartoons, uh, stories, etc. So this is something which is uh, very clear and which is used. Good imagination is not everything here. And uh, even a fairy tale writing is imagination, but here you need to engage and involve the children into the imaginary situation and story created by the teacher, and you need special qualities for that, uh, namely emotional expressiveness, and you not need only to make up, you need to show, you, you need to become someone to be lived into imaginary situation. And this is a competence uh, which is similar to actors' competences. Uh, when uh, with your intonation and gestures and voice you need to involve and engage and make some situation interesting uh, for the teacher. And uh, maybe teachers need some special uh, tr tricks and methods uh, which are similar to actors' techniques. At some point of time, in some pedagogical uh, institutions, they had uh, uh, actor uh, training, and this is uh, very uh, right for the preschool teachers, which work with their intonations and body movements. Another important point, you can be a perfect actor, love performing uh, before children, but here you need not only to perform, you need to transfer and give them the initiative. Uh, you need to give them the initiative, so uh, you need to be communicatively attentive. 
and you need to, and uh, some uh, teachers really love and enjoy performing and telling the stories and he, he's uh, uh, making the uh, children his audience, his spectators, so you need to leave the scene uh, at the right point of time. It's important uh, to uh, diminish uh, your involvement to decrease your involvement uh, when uh, the children start to be more engaged. And this is a hard thing for the uh, teachers because uh, many of them are performing, are showing, and they cannot uh, give away that uh, initiative uh, to the children. And for this uh, communicative attention, uh, there are uh, different uh, goals and tasks when you need to take into account the characteristics of your partner and you need to, uh, to adapt to his activities. And of course, the goal of the teacher is uh, to create adequate uh, playing environments uh, where the adequacy for a game is the most important. Uh, when uh, they uh, mostly uh, look into the safety and cleanliness. And sometimes the game is about mass, opened materials which are not uh, beautiful. Uh, I don't know, some stones and some branches of the trees. And also uh, the environment which could be transformed. And it's in the standard and sometimes all of those conditions, sometimes it's not uh, really easy to e implement that. So because sometimes we focus on the beauty, like we understand it, we adults and about the safety of the uh, toys and also we need to overcome uh, uh, those assumptions to create a proper game so these are preliminary ideas the topic is quite huge and game competence or playing competence one of the main uh, characteristics of the competencies of a preschool teacher and the standard goes about this thank you very much Yelena